before you lay your head down tonight, just think to yourself, like, one day my time is going to run out. Like, I'm sitting here, and we're all sitting here, and we're literally passing time before we die. Because we all die. And it's kind of like, makes me frustrated, it makes me mad, because out of all the things I can control in life, that's the one thing everybody can't control. But then again, you would argue, well, if you can't control that, don't worry about it. But at the same time, how can you not worry about it? How can you not think about that when you lay your head down? How can you not think about that when you're just sitting here? And it's kind of like all in the back of our heads. We just kind of in, find other things to distract us. We find other things to entertain us. We find other things to pass time to not think about the reality that it all leads to death. But fall in love with your own story because, you know, I think you, you watch people on social media that are successful and they have their own story. But understand that you will never be them. You will never do exactly what they did. Because, I mean, a lot of advice says, like, okay, find somebody that has what you want and do what they did. But if you do what they did, you won't have the exact same results that they have. There's certain characteristics that were developed at a young age. There were certain variables that went on in their life that caused them to do the things that they do that put them in that unique situation, which makes them them. So you have to fall in love with your own story and go, okay, I'm me. What's my story? How did I get to success? Because following somebody else's story and falling in love with somebody else's story will just make you a simple spectator in life. But fall in love with yourself fall in love with your story and you will progress faster because I think I've spent a lot of time and wasted a lot of time trying to be like other people, trying to fit my story, how somebody else's story went and you will never be them. So wasting time looking at somebody else's story, hearing somebody else's story, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Instead of asking, okay, in my life, what are the things that I want? How do I want this thing to go? But how can I make something? How can I add more meat into it? How can I be more original with it? And let things flow and let things come to fruition as they go. Instead of being so hell bent on, this has to go this particular way in the future or right now. Because if it doesn't go this particular way, it doesn't fit the particular vision that I had or something like that. And you can't be so black and white and so hell bent on something going a certain way. Because then that's unrealistic expectations on the future, number one. But number two, you miss out on a lot of opportunities for other things to come into your life. Because you were so stubborn on something going a certain way. That's why I said, like, it, it doesn't make sense to follow somebody else's story. You can be inspired by it, but you will never be them. And it won't ever go exactly like that where you have what they have. Because you have unique characteristics, skills, talents, and abilities that if put in a certain situation, it will affect you like this. But then you put you in a, another search, another situation, it will affect you like that, right? So let things flow more. Let things come to fruition. Let things, don't be so passive in life that you just let things happen to you. But be more accepting and more receptive to the things that come to you but still progress towards the goals that you want and fall in love with you, fall in love with your story. <clears throat>
And yeah. And another thing that I would add was be the hero of your family. Be the hero of your loved ones. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money you make. Your family is still going to be there. They're still going to love you. Like, you know what I mean? You can have friends. You can have acquaintances. You can be on social media and have viewers and followers. But they don't know you. So at the end of the day, you know, something my dad always told me was take care of home first. And what that means is home to me means my family. Take care of family first. Be that type of man that make sure make sure your loved ones are good. Take care of home first. Make sure home home is taken care of. You know. Um so yeah, I think that brings happiness too. Because if you just make money and you have nothing else to show for it other than your accomplishments and your materialistic things that you gain, like what is the point of money? You know. I think my main concern is the family members because if I don't get rich, They'll be poor for the rest of their life. <coughs> my kids be poor. My nieces, my nephews, my cousins, poor. You know? The people that matter to me, poor. So, you just have to take that responsibility. Say, like, okay. Knowing what you know, if you don't get rich, the consequences of that are your your loved one's home will suffer. So, take care of home first. You have to get rich first to take care of home, but make sure home is taken care of. And that's true happiness for me. Yes, the money gives me power. Yes, the money gives me influence. Yes, the money gives me status. But if my family's not eaten, if my family's not taken care of until death, then what is the point of me being rich? Just to say I'm rich, just to just to get the, the status, the praise, the recognition from that. And I don't I don't necessarily think that that's valuable. I think true happiness to me means my family's taken care of, you know. Take care of home first. 